Yes, students, let me explain polyatomic H3 molecule. Three hydrogens are there. One of them I should consider a central atom as per our convention of molecular orbital theory and the meaning will be the peripheral. Peripheral atoms, peripheral hydrogens will form a group and the group orbitals will overlap with the central atom orbitals. Which group orbitals will overlap? Those follow SALC, those follow SILC, those follow symmetry adopted linear combinations. And then we will result the molecular orbitals. Let us study in detail this H3. For that, I am assuming H3 is linear. Why assumption that the concept will be clear? But time being, let us consider it is a linear. And let us apply a concept of molecular orbital theory, LCO method, SALC to this H3 molecule. Let me consider three hydrogen atoms in a linear way. Central hydrogen is represented here by green color and label is HC, C for central. And peripheral hydrogen atoms, atom to the left side of C from our point of view, I am labeling it as HA, atom A. And atom to the right side is labeled as hydrogen atom B, labeled as HB. Now, as per the basis of molecular orbital theory, group orbitals will be formed from whom peripheral hydrogen atoms. Let me consider now peripheral hydrogen atoms A and B. Each of these peripheral hydrogen atoms has one electron in oneness orbital and that electron in oneness orbital will behave like a wave and wave of one hydrogen atom A will interact with wave of other hydrogen atom B but they are forming group ultimate molecular orbital will be produced after interaction with central hydrogen atom wave but this wave will group in how many ways? Let us see. It seems that these four ways are there for the combination of group orbitals. But in true sense, from mathematical way, only two types of combinations are there. How? That I explain. Before that, let me describe this diagram. By dark color, I am representing positive waves. So by dark purple color, hydrogen A, that's a wave of atom A is represented, positive wave. Dark red color, positive wave of atom B is represented. And by faint colors, negative waves are represented. If you see, the two compartments are made. In the left compartment, positive wave of atom A groups with positive wave of atom B. And in second half, negative wave of atom A interacts with negative wave of atom B. If I have to conclude the interaction, interaction is like kind. Like interacts with like. Positive interacts with positive. Negative interacts with negative. Same pages interact with each other. That is a left compartment. And a right compartment. Positive wave of atom A interacts with negative wave of atom B. And second part. Negative wave of atom A interacts with positive wave of atom B. So what kind of combination it is? Unlike a kind of combination. Positive interacts with negative or negative interacts with positive. It is a second type of the interaction. Mathematically, how can I describe these two interactions? 
left compartment group can be represented as psi1 it is the first group psi1 gr is equal to psi1s for hydrogen a means wave function for hydrogen atom a plus why plus sign because in left compartment in first possibility both atoms have same wave function addition will be there therefore plus psi 1s it is for which atom hydrogen b similarly right compartment interaction of group orbitals can be represented as psi 2 means second wave function of group orbitals psi 2 gr is equal to psi 1s it is for hydrogen atom a minus why minus sign because unlike signs are there different signs are there different wave functions are there for grouping orbitals a and b means if one is positive other will be negative and vice versa therefore psi 1s for hydrogen atom a minus psi 1s for hydrogen atom b what is psi it is a wave function see the symmetry of left compartment group orbitals we are talking about linear h3 molecule so what is a point group for that d infinity h so possible operations are c infinity c2 axis are there horizontal plane center of inversion now i want to bring your attention more towards the horizontal plane or center of inversion because out of those two any one is sufficient for us to distinguish these two kinds of the groups left compartment group is symmetric about horizontal plane or center of inversion while right compartment group is unsymmetric or non-symmetric about center of inversion or horizontal plane so also it is called psi1 group as a symmetry and psi2 group as non-symmetry here or symmetry with reference to horizontal plane or center of inversion those are the possible operations for d infinity h point group so in conclusion two kinds of possibilities are there to group peripheral hydrogen atoms wave functions what about center hydrogen atom how many possibilities of there for its wave functions let us see only one atom wave has two phases positive and negative as like if i cross a single coin two possibilities are there head or tail likewise central hydrogen atom is with two options for wave functions phases it can be positive or it can be negative by dark color positive phase of the wave function is represented and by faint color negative phase is represented here what is going to happen later the wave functions of central hydrogen atom are going to interact with the group orbitals how many types of group orbitals are there two one type is symmetric combination and second type unsymmetric or non-symmetric group out of those two groups which group is suitable for combination or both groups are suitable for combination that we need to see for that we need to determine symmetry of these central hydrogen wave functions if wave function is positive means throughout the sphere throughout the 1s orbital 
positive phase will be there. Is it symmetric about C infinity? Symmetric about C2? Symmetric about sigma h? Symmetric about center of inversion i? The answer is yes. For all symmetry operations, it is symmetric. Especially our point of discussion is regarding horizontal plane or center of inversion because those two can easily distinguish the symmetric and non-symmetric. Means this wave function for central hydrogen atom is symmetric for horizontal plane or center of inversion. If it is negative, then also it is symmetric. It means central hydrogen atom is with always symmetric wave functions, symmetric wave phases. So, as per the rule of molecular orbital theory, these waves or this atom can combine with which kind of group of hydrogen atoms? Symmetric group. And what was the label for that symmetric group? Psi 1. So, Psi 1 group is suitable for combination. What about Psi 2? That Psi 2 group? It is not suitable. There is a no suitable option for combination. Then how Psi 1 can combine with central hydrogen atom wave functions? That let us see. It seems that there are four possibilities of combinations but actually not. What we are talking about? We are talking about combinations between central hydrogen atom HC with peripheral group hydrogen atoms. Which group? Psi 1 group. What is the specialty of that group? It is symmetric. Wave functions of both peripheral hydrogen atoms are same. Means positive positive or negative negative. I am talking about peripheral hydrogens. So here one green line is there. Below green line one kind of combination is represented and above other kind. What kind of combination is there below green line? Additive combination means wave function of central hydrogen atom and group hydrogen atoms are same positive 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 or negative 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 so all those waves can merge can mingle can add together because of addition attraction is there because of attraction, what do you think? Energy of resultant molecular orbital will be low or high? Certainly, it will be low. So, what can I label for that orbital? Bonding or antibonding? Of course, bonding molecular orbital, which is produced due to combination between central hydrogen and symmetric group of hydrogens. Psi 1 group. Now come to the upper molecular orbital. There subtraction is there. Repulsion is there. Because pay attention. Central hydrogen has one wave function and peripheral hydrogens are with other wave functions. Of course, both peripheral hydrogens have the same wave functions. But compared to central hydrogen, their signs are opposite. If opposite phases are combining, opposite wave functions are combining, then resultant wave will be anti-bonding wave. Energy will be higher. Here, between left purple colored hydrogen and central green color hydrogen, there will be repulsion. You will find one nodal plane between them. And central green colored hydrogen and right side red colored hydrogen there also repulsion will be there a second nodal plane you will find such nodal planes were not there in previous orbitals bonding orbitals so here because of nodal planes because of repulsion because of increase in energy what can we say for those orbitals bonding or anti-bonding certainly anti-bonding orbitals two kinds of the atomic orbitals combining one central hydrogen as a one entity one player and group of hydrogens though they are two they are grouped so it is a group orbital 
so group orbital and central hydrogen orbital two orbitals are combining as per the basis of molecular orbital theory two molecular orbitals will be there one bonding that is represented pictorially below the green line and anti bonding that is represented above the green line in true sense only two possibilities are there means we are following lcao method linear combination of atomic orbitals additive combination and subtractive combination between central hydrogen atom wave and group orbital wave psi1 wave But still question remains what about psi2 who will combine with psi2 and if nobody is there to combine then what will be the status what will be the energy for what the psi2 before that let us see the representation of these combined molecular orbitals mathematically yes here is a representation of interaction between central hydrogen atom that's a c atom its wave and wave of group orbitals which wave which wave function which orbital out of the group orbitals are suitable that's a first group orbital psi1 group orbital is suitable psi1 group orbital there you feel two lobes are there means two orbitals are there no group orbital is only one it is formed from two individual oneness orbitals but psi1 is a one group orbital so psi1 is interacting with oneness orbital of hydrogen atom c so total two orbitals are interacting as per the basis of molecular orbital theory if two orbitals are interacting then how many molecular orbitals will be there two and how will they combine by lcao manner linear combination of atomic orbitals is to follow so linear combination means two options one is addition and other is subtraction let us see the first option the first molecular orbital which is mathematically represented as psi 1 sigma which is equal to wave function for hydrogen atom c that's a psi 1s in bracket c plus addition because here bonding orbital is going to establish psi 1 group so this is our bonding orbital low energy orbital 1 sigma orbital here normalization function or coefficient of interaction time being we are not considering in detail so this much simple expression will do how can i represent anti bonding molecular orbital it should result by subtraction subtraction between whom the wave function of oneness orbital of hydrogen atom c and minus wave function of group orbital that's a psi1 group what is the name for that anti bonding orbital 3 sigma so psi 3 sigma is equal to psi 1s c minus psi 1 group why 3 sigma why not 2 sigma c 1 sigma is a bonding orbital higher than that bonding orbital there is a non bonding orbital which is formed from the group no match was there for that and that orbital is our 2 sigma orbital sigma is a kind of symmetry and higher orbital than that 2 sigma means 3 sigma therefore label for this anti bonding orbital is 3 sigma so is the mathematical representation and pictorial understanding of the formation of bonding anti bonding orbitals clear to you in between i told you what is a fate what will be the status for group orbital second or second group orbital that will remain non bonding because of absence of no suitable match for interaction all possible molecular orbitals for linear h3 molecule are represented here lowest orbital is 1 sigma orbital first sigma orbital it is resulted due to additive interaction between central hydrogen and group orbitals of course psi1 group wave function 
is interacting here. All three phases will combine. There will not be any node. So zero node is present for bonding orbital and it is of lowest energy. Second molecular orbital represented here is two sigma. Actually, it is a group orbital of peripheral hydrogens. It has no suitable match from central hydrogen. Therefore, that complete group orbital is represented there. Its energy will be same as is the energy of combining hydrogens. But there is a node between those two. Because of that node, energy is little higher than that of the 1 sigma orbital. Now come to 3 sigma orbital. It is a result due to subtractive combination between central hydrogen and peripheral group orbital. Of course, psi 1 as a group orbital. There, left side hydrogen positive, central hydrogen negative, right side hydrogen positive as a representative. Means, there is a repulsion between left and middle, middle and right. Means there is a gap between left and middle and middle and right. Means there are two nodal planes existing in that orbital and that is anti-bonding orbital resulted due to repulsion. What is your view? Energy will be higher or lower? Certainly higher because of the repulsion. So energetically the three molecular orbitals now can be represented as one sigma. 2 sigma and 3 sigma. 1 sigma is a bonding orbital, 2 sigma we can say non-bonding orbital and 3 sigma is anti-bonding orbital. Now let us see how we draw the MO diagram for H3 linear molecule. Total 3 compartments are there. Left compartment, atomic orbital of central hydrogen. Extreme right compartment, group orbitals of peripheral hydrogens. What are the names of those group orbitals? Psi 1 group and Psi 2 group. And middle compartment, molecular orbitals. Three molecular orbitals are there. One sigma, bonding orbital. Two sigma, non-bonding orbital. Of course, it's a group orbital. And three sigma, anti-bonding orbital. Total, how many electrons do we have? Three hydrogens. Each hydrogen is with one electron, so three electrons. How can we distribute those three electrons? First two electrons will enter in one sigma orbital. And last electron, third electron will enter in two sigma orbital. What do you think about this bond order? Bond order is equal to number of electrons in bonding orbitals minus Number of electrons in antibonding orbitals divided by 2 is equal to 2 minus 0 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Means there is only one bond between three hydrogen atoms. This is a simple approach to linear H3 molecule. Yes. Then what is the bond order of H3? Three electrons are there. Two electrons in one, one electron in two sigma and no electron in three sigma. Two sigma is a non-bonding orbital, so it will not assist or oppose the bond formation. So bond order will be one. So in three hydrogens, there is only one bond. And this molecule H3 linear will be paramagnetic in nature due to presence of one unpaid electron in two sigma orbital. During discussion in this topic, we have used the term Psi1 GR, Psi1 group. Question is, Psi1 group means how many orbitals? When you say that Psi1 group will interact with the central hydrogen 1s orbital, so Psi1 group means how many orbitals? Is question clear? Waiting for answer in comment box. Mm -hmm.